Now normally I would put a tip video like this on my second channel, but in this case I don't know that I could do it in under a minute. And also, this one I think is too good to not be seen. The ingredients for this recipe are very simple. You need some electrical tape, a drinking straw, and some metal coat hangers. We're after the straight flat piece on the bottom of the coat hanger. But if you want, you could probably use a substitute like this copper wiring. But to be honest, it'll be probably frustrating. I want my wire to be uh, about an inch or so longer than the straw. And now I want to wind some tape around it. Just until it's wide enough that it can act as a plunger for the inside of the straw. I'm going to approach it slowly and get it just right. If you have to cut some off, only cut off about an eighth inch at a time. Because the difference between too tight and too loose is probably about an eighth of an inch. I think you know what to expect next. Now we will fill the straw. The portability of this thing is nice and convenient, but another thing that I like is that it makes a nice airtight seal, especially if you use silicone. That leaves it still usable even after, well this has been sitting for a little over 24 hours. I probably don't have to waste any more caulking to convince you that this trick is useful, but this is probably where it is the most useful. As you can imagine, this is considerably less cumbersome than a caulking gun. Now I'm sure you can use this technique for other applications, so let me know what you come up with. In this case, I filled up the straw with grease. You may want to do this to your lawnmower tires as well. Alright, I'll show you one more caulking related trick using a drinking straw before I go. These all came from the same tube of caulking over the course of about a year and a half. So you can keep an open tube of silicone that long. I only want to insert the straw this far. Eventually, the caulking that's trapped in between the straw and the tip of the caulking gun will form an airtight barrier. So in the meantime, this tape will help keep it from popping out. Now the last straw, I cut it off around here just so it's not so clumsy. It does not have to be so long. And each time you're done using this, lick your finger and put a flat spot on the end. And when you're ready to use it again, you will just pull this right out. It stretches and pops out like a cork. It's very easy. This is several weeks worth of growth. After about a day, you'll have this much, a week, and upwards of a couple weeks. But you can, it is possible, to get a tube to last well over a year. I hope you found some of this useful, and I will see you next time.